Hi everyone, I'm Kat Taylor and welcome to our first video edition of That Weather Show. We're dedicating this episode to the brave scientists whose mission is to hunt tornadoes. That's right, we're talking about Vortex 2, the largest tornado field experiment ever. It's a two-part study that began in the spring of 09 and wraps up this June. The goal? Unlock the mysteries of how, when, and why tornadoes form. Just how massive is Vortex 2? Here's some numbers from last year. 40 research vehicles, 10 mobile radars, 9 states, 29 storms. So how did part one go? We asked the team to wrap up 2009 in a few words. Intense. Patience. Exciting and productive. Endless driving. Frustrating. A bumpy ride. Less than expected. Unfortunately, 2009 was a historically low tornado year. Seriously, Mother Nature? Seriously? However, there was one very big highlight, and it happened in Wyoming on June 5th. We uh, got to that area, we saw that there was a storm developing, it had a very good wall cloud on it, and we all kind of clicked into focus. Everybody did their jobs, everybody executed correctly, we had all the instruments in the right place, everything was perfectly timed. From a research standpoint, it was incredibly successful. And we're into the details of that analysis now, and we're beginning to see a few things that, that might be new and exciting results to come from that data set. It really was the most documented tornado in history. Preparations are now underway for part two. The team is hoping for a busy and successful finale. We're certainly having an active winter period, and we hope that then leads to an active spring period, because we need to get more than average number of events to make up for less than expected last spring. Just as it's hard to get two good years in a row, it's hard to get two bad years in a row. And so we're hoping uh, for a great tornado season this year. And I, and I think actually we're prepared to handle a, a really good tornado season. We have a lot of practice last year. And so this year when it's a good tornado year, hopefully, uh, we'll be ready to go from day one. And so we won't miss our opportunities. Sounds good. Now, we can't have a show about Vortex 2 without mentioning those interesting gadgets. So with no further ado, we present the top three most unique weather instruments. At the number three spot, we have the Tornado Pod, a short tower of instruments put in the tornado's path. It measures wind speed and direction just above the ground. In the number two spot, it's the stick net. These measure the atmosphere, and some even record hail and precipitation. And the number one most unique weather instrument in Vortex 2 is the Tempest. This unmanned aircraft flies near supercells to capture weather conditions in key parts of the storm. You can find out more about all things Vortex 2 at our website. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Speaking of Facebook, the most asked question by our fans is why can't Vortex 2 come to our area? The answer? We need good roads for navigating, as well as open areas for observing the storms. So the central part of the U.S. is the most ideal. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, I'm Kat Taylor. Thanks for watching That Weather Show.